It has been five years since her last album, and Phyllis Hyman fans have been longing for a new recording. As usual, she has come back with an album that was well worth the wait. We've missed you, Phyllis. Why has it been so long? Well, we had to find a new distributor, and uh, after we left Manhattan, we uh, had just had to do a lot of searching and negotiating. It takes a great deal of time, and we were lucky enough to get with Zoo Records, who is putting the kind of energy behind this record that I haven't had done in a long time, since Buddha Records, where our cast was always trying to, to do new and innovative things with my record. Um, and of course, finding the right material. It's been five years since your last album. What can we expect on your latest release, Prime of My Life? Traditional Phyllis Hyman in terms of the ballads, songs that talk about emotionally painful issues. Um, I was able to find a dance tune this time, kind of a, not real fast, but mid, mid-tempo tune called Don't Want to Change the World. And I've been looking for a song like that for a long time. And just basically, just good Phyllis Hyman music. I think what my fans have been dying to hear from me in, in the last five years. <laughs> Don't Want to Change the World is the one song that includes rap. How did they get you into rapping? I heard uh, Doug Grisby's rap on, on my song, and I thought, I want to do that. And Doug came in and wrote a kind of a, it's not an attack, but it's kind of a conversation with him. And um, I just practiced it and, and put it on the record. I, I wanted it. I asked to do it. By listening to and experiencing some of the great lyrics that are involved in rap music today, positive, loving, uplifting lyrics. I just, I, I'm into it. I'm into that, of course. The, the lyrics that are crude toward women, crude toward our black community, um, giving off images that are held by a few ignorant people. Uh, of course, I have no use for that. I just concentrate on the more positive lyric. Can I call you L.L. Iceville? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I don't think so. L.L. I can repeat that. L.L. Cool, uh, cool Iceville. Oh, <laughs> no, there's not going to be any, any, um, you know, charge for the, for the rapper's arena. I don't feel the need to do that. It's something that is part of my culture. It's something that is a part of my skill. And it's part of my growth. Phyllis Hyman is a woman who takes her professional and personal growth seriously. But even though she is constantly busy with various business pursuits, she took time to record a very special song with a special musician. Everything feels so nice. We were lucky enough to enjoy you working with Grover Washington. How did that come about? Well, Grover asked me to perform on his album, Time Out of Mind. And, of course, my first, my first uh, request is to hear the song. So he uh, set a song over, and I loved it. I loved the song. And then we went in the studio in Philadelphia and we recorded it. You've been recording for almost 15 years now. Does it ever feel that it's been that long? I never think about it because I'm so busy with different projects um, that I, I don't really think about it. I mean, I, I make records. I do concerts. I do nightclubs. I do commercials, I do movie soundtracks, I do, um, I do bit parts in movies, I'm auditioning for things all the time, I run three companies, so it's a little hard to, to um, for me anyway, to think back about the beginning, the middle, and where the end is going to be. I just try to keep working. How do you relax? I love television. I have the most exercise thumb in the world with my remote control, and I love to read. I carry books around on the road constantly, and I uh, read all the periodicals. It's very important for me to stay up on current events. I'm a current events buff, you know. Phyllis may love to work, but when it comes to her concert, she makes it look so simple. I heard you prefer live performances to recording. Why is that? Well, it's because I'm dealing with people. In a recording studio, it's dead, it's empty. You have an engineer and possibly a producer to perform to. That is not enough to get that, the kind of feeling that I emote in my songs. It's just Im impossible to get that. 
you said that your new album represents a great deal of growth and that you finally feel secure with all aspects of your voice. What do you mean by that? Well, five years ago, I didn't listen to Phyllis Hyman. I didn't understand why people did. I didn't understand why why I would sell out concerts and, and have people swear by my talent. I didn't really get, get it. And then I, was, I, I started to listen, say, five, four or five years ago, and, and, under, and accept. I actually began to accept the fact that I really could sing, that my voice was very special, and that the music I was singing, some of it was extremely special. How would you describe Phyllis Hyman in 1991? Taller thinner and richer. <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis seems to really enjoy her work, from traveling on the road to simply seeing her name up in life. Yes, really not hard to believe when you consider how she always comes back 